Hey everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy here with another iMovie how-to video. And today I'm going to show you a quick overview of how to use some of your other programs inside of iMovie. Now if you go back to the right-hand side buttons again, you'll notice that we have a musical note button and a camera button. This is your iTunes and iPhoto buttons. Now let's start off by clicking the iTunes button. And you'll notice when the window opens that you've got all of your iTunes library inside of iMovie. All you have to do is simply click one of your songs. You can preview it. And if you're ready to use it, simply drag it up and into your movie. And you'll see in this green box here that that is your song. And it covers all of your movie. Let's give it a play. And that's how simple it is to add a song from your iTunes library into your iMovie productions. Now, let's go back over to our buttons and choose the iPhoto button. And you will see just like with the audio, you've now got your entire iPhoto library right inside of iMovie. Simply grab any photo that you'd like, drag it up into your movie, and instantly you have a new image inside of your movie. You'll notice that it also has that slow-moving Ken Burns effect automatically attached to the image. Simply double-click the image, and you'll be able to add all of the different effects that you would normally add to any piece of video. Including adjustments, to give you the perfect look that you want to have for your movie. And that's it. That's how simple it is to integrate iTunes and iPhoto into your iMovie projects. So get out there and use iMovie and have some fun.